Hello Market Club members everywhere, Adam Hewison here coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club. Well, it's Friday, the 14th of October. We're going to start off with a big winner for the week and that's crude oil, which was up 3.5% for the week and that's as of Thursday, looking very good. A couple of things I want to bring to your attention on crude oil, which I think are very interesting, and that is, first of all, we sort of broke have broken over this short-term trend line right here. and we have support coming in perfectly like this almost. So we came to the apex of the triangle and basically broke out to the upside. Now this is not to mention our market club trade triangles, which are totally different. This is a formation, technical formation, and it can usually go both ways. So again, it's broken out to the upside. If we put our trade triangles in this market, you can see that all of our trade triangles, all positive. Last signal coming at 51.20. That's the monthly, but we use the weekly. That's the important one. The weekly for trend and the daily for timing. Now, we only use these two indicators in futures and in the Forex markets. So this is a futures contract. It's the November contract of crude oil, and it is traded on NYMEX, and it's for 100 barrels of crude oil. So again, very simple, easy to trade highly leveraged cuts both ways but again we're long from 48.32 and that's working out very well for us because the market's currently at 50.58 and that's about a two thousand dollar profit so let's move on to the biggest loser this is the biggest loser for the week we were down 4.8 percent as of yesterday and of course more today will be over five percent for the week but again this is not acting well just on the dailies but we Thought it would be sort of bottoming out around here potentially, but we've seen a little bit of a divergence on the RSI, which is a good thing. And uh, But nonetheless, all of our trade triangles are all red. Now notice something different here. All of our trade triangles are red, indicating the trend in gold is down. Just as all our trade triangles were green in crude oil, indicating the trend was up. Now look at the weekly results. Crude oil up 3.5%, gold down almost 5% for the week. So that's how the trade triangles work. You know, we talked about a high stress level in the country, and I think that's really indicating we're seeing a mixed bag in the equity markets. This is the Dow. You can see if we scope this out to six months, you can see we've had this sort of box effect where you've sort of traded around. I mean, really haven't gotten out of this box for the last, gosh, six or seven weeks. We had our trade triangle kick in right here at 18,335, I think that was on September 1st or somewhere around that time period. So it's actually about seven weeks. And you can see the market, this was the exit position to be on the sidelines and just watch. And it's been proven to be very, very stress-free at this point in time. So again, you're seeing even the RSI is sort of just chopping around the 50 line, not clear what it wants to do, but certainly today's action from the lows yesterday is a good sign that maybe we're still in this broad trading range and we have yet to decide between the bulls and the bears who's going to win this contest. Pretty much the same picture in the S&P 500. Choppy action. RSI just chopping along there. Really no direction, strong direction. Again, for the week we were down as of Thursday 0.67%. We're probably about, I would say, practically unchanged for the week, which is uh, quite something when you think about it. But nonetheless, the key here is to really be on the sidelines, at least in the overall indices. Some stocks look very good, like Amazon and Apple. We've talked about those, and we'll be looking at Apple in just a second. But again, sidelines in the major indices. This is the NASDAQ. You can see yesterday we had a signal to exit, be on the sidelines. We have dropped below the 50 line. Again, I think the sideline position is the best place to be at the moment in the ind indexes. While this stress of the election and all the rhetoric and vitriolic comments continue to pour out of both candidates and not to mention all the Trump sayings and also the WikiLeaks. It's just very stressful for a lot of people. I think it's been reflected in the marketplace itself. So let's take a look at Apple, which is the happiest song at the moment. Okay, this is the Apple happy song. You can see basically we had a signal on the 14th of September, 109.32 to be a buyer, and that's worked out well. We've got about $8 in that position, $8 to $9 in that position. And it looks to me like we could see this market go up to the 125 level, which we talked about, which takes it back up to these levels right around here, 124, 125. Uh, again, 
It's all because of Samsung, and they are pulling off the Samsung Note 7 smartphone, which keeps exploding and causing fires. As I said last week, I was traveling down to Chattanooga, and you couldn't get on the you can get on the flight with the Samsung 7. Uh, it's really uh, and rightfully so. It was just a very poorly engineered smartphone. But again, this is benefiting Apple, and that's why the stock is going higher, in our opinion. Hey, listen, thanks so much for taking the time to watch today's video. We really appreciate it. And again, we appreciate your business at Market Club. And remember, the trade triangles are there to help you. They're there to help you make money. And that's the key thing. Look at what they're doing because they're very powerful. Just this week, you see all of our trade triangles are red on gold. It's down almost 5%. And all of our trade triangles on crude oil are all positive. So that's another thing to look at. Again, look at Apple. All of our trade triangles are all positive right here. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend, everyone.